Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss an updated guide on Holy Dragon Grounds. But before that, if you want to see more XO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hi guys, we'll start off our Holy Dragon Grounds updated guide. So we have four phases for Holy Dragon Grounds. So you for phase one, you need 26,800 damage to move to phase two. Then from phase 2, you need 80,200 damage to reach phase 3. So per, for phase 3, you it's either you need to deal 267,000 damage or 314,000 damage depending on uh, which day you are in. So for the dragon skills, we first have Dragon Strike delivers a powerful blow to one enemy. Cancels all buffs cast on targets in phase 4. So this is important for phase 4. This is actually just damage for the other phases. The, no the other one is Dragon War. So phase 2 damages all enemies with a more powerful roar that, that is empowered by rage and silences them for a certain amount of time by suppressing their mana. So when you reach phase 3, damages all enemies with a roar aimed directly at them. Silences again them for a longer time by further suppressing their mana. And phase 4 damages all enemies with the ruthless roar and stuns them for a certain amount of time. For Dragon Roar, the problem with, with this one, you can actually go through phases three, 2 and 3. But you need a machine set for phase 4 for you, for you not to be able to be stunned. So that is why phase 4 is actually a team building on specific... On, on 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 the specific need of putting a a set effect for each of the heroes that you have um, for them to reach phase four. Next would be raging breath. So spews out dragon's breath that that cannot be blocked on all enemies with the phase changes. Teams with head dragon knight or dragon hunter have certain amount of resistance against dragon's breath. So I'll discuss on this more later. Um, at the beginning of phase 4 releases a breath that removes all marks on self and all targets. So goodbye marks that uh, are be being given by your generals. Next would be your dragon scale. So for dragon scale, for phase 2 activates dragon scale of chaos and weakens the damage of all heroes other than dragon hunters. So again, I'll discuss on this uh, later. Phase 4 activates Dragon Scale of Immortality and nullifies marks and other element attacks. The last one is Dragon Fang. So Phase 3 increases attack every round. Phase 4 uses the Enhanced Dragon Fang skill each round. Every round drastically increases attack. Again, I'll, I'll discuss more on this later. So what I have here for you guys is a chart. It's kind of complicated, but it's the most detail that I've made so far. So, to start off, so Dragon's Dignity affects attack, defense, and health of heroes with different elements. So, as much as possible, you bring um, heroes that corresponds to the element of the day for the dragon. So that um, attack and defense and health will not be affected. But if you can't, it's okay. It's not a problem as long as um, they have the ability to survive and put a lot of damage as well. So we'll start with the different positions that you need for the dragon. So for your head dragon knight, you have their Emma for um, that's light and dark. So by the way, just, just to discuss the days that are there on top. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, those are the days that there are elements for the dragon but on saturday sunday he no longer carries an element that is why i want to to bring you back to earlier in terms of phase three the the damages are different the damages is, is bigger on monday to friday uh, versus saturday and sunday so for you to go to phase four also Please note that if you're in a different time zone, let's say for example, if you're if you're in the United States or in North America, your time zone would be different, and your your let's say for example your your dark and your light will start on a Sunday, so it will move. 
um, you'll have it on a Sunday to Thursday. Then your then your non-element dragon will will be on a Friday Saturday. Uh, so ju just that is just um, wh what you have to take note. So again, moving back to head dragon knight. So for each corresponding day, you have a head dragon knight. It's actually okay if you don't bring the corresponding hero for that specific day for head dragon knight. Um, again, dragon dragon's dignity just applies. Okay, so for Saturday Sunday, you don't ha you can choose any, and for head dragon knight again, it decreases raging breath damage by fifty percent and plus twenty percent to to ally with Dragonite Blessing. So that is the buff that your head Dragonite gives to himself or herself and to um, to heroes with Dragonite's Blessing. Okay, we move on to your Dragon Hunter Blessing. So for Dragon, Hun Dragon Hunter Blessing, you have there, specifically you have to bring them in Saturday, Sunday. So not affected by decreased damage for Phase 2, but you could also bring them and in Monday to Fridays, um, it's not a problem, but they're they're more crucial on Saturday, Sunday. So you have their uh, four to choose from: Karina, Brooke, Deva, and Sharpay. Preferably, if you have the FC version, please bring them. Um, one thing to note: I like to go back for the Head Dragon Knight. They're just the original version. The FC are just bonuses um, in terms of what what their FC gives them. So let's proceed to your dragon knight blessing so these are the heroes that have dragon knight blessing that you can bring again they are optional depending on what you have in your roster right now so they're based on their original uh what they call their original form um uh, fc is also optional in terms of uh, bringing along their fc but better with their fc so when you have a dragon dragon knight blessing with one of your heroes so increases damage to dragons with dragon scale order activated by 250 percent and decreases the dragon fang effect used by the dragon by 20 percent so it depends on the element like for example um if you want to 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 have this effect the second one that decreases the dragon fang effect you have to bring the specific dragonite blessing hero with their same corresponding element like for example if you have here for 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 maggie if you want this one to take effect you should bring her on fire day which which is a tuesday if you bring her in other days there's no decrease in decrease in the dragon fang effect used by the dragon so again they should be used on the day of their element okay so next would be your buyer of will so you have um these are just suggestions so for buyer will it doesn't have you don't ha really have to bring them but they're a good um addition to your team you have their fc loom especially if you have um battery with you um he could break multiple guard uh, garden stones for the dragon you have their fc garf fc Lyungen, fc brook fc Bala valar fc mahar and for Saturday Sunday, you could bring anyone else. So this is optional, but these are um, these are only present in their FC versions. Okay. So for your first guardians, um, you have to bring at least one of them. So it's good if you bring um, the corresponding um, first guardian um, in their element, but it's not needed. You could bring any first guardian. Preferably, um, you could bring the, the ones that are good are FC Maggie, FC Rera, FC Anastasia, particularly, or F and FC Zion as well. Okay. So for survivability, you have their FC Tantalo, FC Chatty, FC Battery, Dorka, FC Redley, and Kaya. So these ones are also optional. You could actually bring uh one two or three of them in your team to increase your survivability so for the first guardians again you only bring one so we move on to damage reduction by 30 percent so this one is actually new because unleash potential was just uh, given to everyone so 
um, this is a good one because you can uh, give more damage reduction to your whole team. So you only have to bring at least one of these heroes. You have Seowa, Ramji, Shell, Emma, Talia, and Anastasia. You don't really need to bring their FC forms. Their original forms would be good enough. But you have to make sure that their Anish potential is actually leveled up all the way down to the bottom to the last part in their stamina tree and also as an option you could bring them um, the high damage heroes that i indicated below so you have fc adams and fc shufraken for monday tuesday fc rachel fc brook fc annie wednesday karina thursday is astarte and friday you have fc jin fc deva and fc morris these are actually just suggestions because I would want you to make I would want to make sure that you have different options on how to build your team. So you build your team um, depending on the utility on on the left side on column A, so that you'd be able to you'd be able to maximize your team comps. And for those for for if you don't have enough. You could actually bring in fillers already, um, starting with um, here, survivability, damage reduction, and high damage heroes. Let's talk about actually uh, more on the dragon's turns and speed and also with your team. So um, turns and speed are actually very important in the dragon because you have to make sure that um, there in what you call this in sequence so the turns are um for your team it's usually uh, the hero with the fastest speed so they're grouped into threes so let's say for example your 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 top three fastest then the dragon takes a turn then number four five and six in your team takes a turn then the dragon and uh, next is seven eight nine then the dragon so that's the sequence in which, in which um, turns are being done. So I would highly, um, highly recommend that you check the speed of your teams. Make sure who goes first, because um, when the phases change, for example, right now, um, the the turn resets to the fastest hero. So it goes back to number one. Then one, two, three, the dragon, four, five, six, the dragon, seven, eight, nine, the dragon. So every phase change, um, it resets, um, it, it, it resets back to your fastest hero in the, in the turn. That is why some of your heroes don't get a turn. Um, you might have realized it now that, that some heroes don't get a turn because you, you kill or you, or you reset phases that fast it doesn't reach the end so for example if your healers are at the middle or at the end sometimes they don't get their turn that much so that is how you build your team as much as possible make sure to list their speed down if you really want to customize your team per day you list uh, you, you you list their speed down in the order that they're going to go so that you'll be able to make sure that um, your team is properly tuned. Also, um, I just want to make sure that um, you know how to speed tune your team. You can speed tune your team in terms of a niche potential, um, your equipment that you bring as well. Um, what else? I yeah, in the equipment you can you can actually tweak the speed of each of your heroes. Not that much, but you can. So more or less, if you you built your roster already, more or less it's it it will be it will deviate a little bit, but not really that much. So I'm now at um, I think I'm I'm already at phase. Where am I? For the moment, I don't know where I am. So I'm at phase three, phase four already. So for phase four, if you notice, I, I, I cleared it very fast from phase one to phase three. But for phase four, much of my heroes will begin to disappear because I don't have um, 
I don't have um, the the status effect immunity. So we'll see if I can take him down for phase four. It seems that most of our heroes are still there. So for my team comp, I placed Dorka for her heal because Dorka doesn't really have to take her turn to activate her heal. Tantalo as well, I would need him for his passive. The rest are there, like for example, for Deva. Deva, I need her for her damage, especially for her FC. Um, Morris, I put there because of his increased attack and his burst damage for his S2. Annie is also there for high attack. Garf is there for his barrier will. What else? So Rera is there as the first guardian who is going to give um, the barrier. And Bathory is there for Tranquil. So slowly but surely my team is dying. So hopefully I can reach 400. Hopefully. So this is the end of the dragon. Reach 400. Torca's turn. Yes, I at least reached 400 for this one. Um, I haven't yet um, passed uh, phase 4 for the dragon. It's really difficult. You need to customize your teams and with machine sets. So uh, it depends in the future. I'll probably uh, customize a team for the dragon with only using one team for all of the days. So hopefully I could reach that and when that, that time comes, I will I will also make a video on that uh, probably in the in the in the near future. So Tantalo's the last one and goodbye Tantalo. So we reached 516. Okay, that's good. Anyway guys, this is my guide, my updated guide on Holy Dragon Grounds. Hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll put a link down on on the file that i shared the excel file so that you may take a look at that and you might might be able to improve on that file okay so this is the warden always take care and i'm out